by all means. But it is blue. So that, for all I know, could have been... Wait, what? Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Pizza Hunter Brandon, and what? Could you go away, please? Thank you. My name is Pizza Hunter Brandon, welcome back to another episode of 30 Days to Die. Just a couple more days. I'm rendering out the last video currently where we got these bad boys right here and that one up there hidden. I'm not ready to leave this series yet, man. I'm like, oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so sad. Ah, but it's okay. It's all fine. We're going to get through it. Okay. I'm not used to ending series as quickly, but it's the whole point of the series, man. I understand. I understand. We've been AFK in the dinos a little bit, but we're going to do that soon. We'll level them up later. Today, we got plants. Today's plan, because we have a really fun one, is, uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't say fun. We're revisiting an old friend, a very old friend of mine, and that is, uh, well, first, to take a look at my inventory, we have a very small amount of items. 27 grappling hooks, shotgun ammunition, and this is something I haven't shown you guys, but the best armor we have in the game, close to at least. 1836 armor sitting out right now with a... All of this is riot gear. None of it's like the, this isn't the, the one helmet or whatever, the, uh, heavy miners helmet. That's not this one. And I love it because this one doesn't take passive durability damage. That's so stupid, but I, I understand, you know, you don't want the heavy miners helmet to be better than actual flak riot gear. Rather take a look inside here really quickly. This is all the best gear that I have in the game. Up top, these are our finest and best blueprints for everything we could possibly ever want. And we compare it to what we're wearing, we're wearing exactly what this is. Aside, oh shit. Wait, we're not wearing, oh, hold on a moment. Can I craft you? Oh shit, yes I can. I thought I was wearing the good gauntlets, but no, I found better ones. The only problem with this is that they're 40 less durability, but I'll take that for the extra 70 armor. So we can go and pop that on. Never mind. 1908, 1900 armor. Hot damn, man. Okay, well, we can pop you in there. Actually, we're going to go ahead and pop you inside of this chest right there, just because you're not, like, the best we could possibly have. And then down below here, well, actually, uh, like I said, so this is the best set of gear that we have. Thankfully, we have a blueprint for everything, so durability should not be an issue. Some of these are expensive. This amount of polymer is stupid, but polymer's not the hardest thing to get. The silica pearls aren't an issue anymore, thanks to you guys for kind of allowing me to spawn them in if I need to. And if you haven't watched the series and you're not aware of what that is, we had a glitch for the first three weeks where nothing respawned, and my compensation in the last few episodes to be able to spawn stuff in is fine because that's what it... I would have accumulated this passively throughout the series had the glitch not have made them no longer respawn. Uh, same with the helmet as well. A little bit of crystal polymer and silica pearls not that big of a deal down here though are the best items that i have if they're better than the blueprints so this set of flak hello set of gauntlets the riot gauntlets is 450 compared to 390 on here but this is something we're going to be reserving for the boss fight entirely because uh, i mean maybe not even for the boss so he might bring us into the uh labyrinth with us maybe but this is like our best set shotgun assault rifle which we're gonna be making the assault rifle for the boss fight i've been told by a lot of people that the shotgun is a no-go for that just because of the fact that we're gonna need to be at a distance away from people and although the dps up close on this is very good this is just a lot better because you have range so thankfully we have a 209 percent assault rifle really glad about that and we could also use a compound bow but we won't but this is just like we need to use a compound bow for anything sword and long neck rifle and also the gas mask was another thing apparently there's an attack that one of the bosses does that you might need a gas mask for to not like get knocked out from topor or radiated i'm not sure which one it is either way this will be something that we'll need to craft for the boss fight as well but this is our best gear and i don't think unless we somehow find something better today that's what we're going to be rocking into us for the final fight and the labyrinth Plans for today, though. 
We're gonna go over to the jungle cave again. The good old cave that we've been at before, with all the onyx, with everything of that sort. Because we're gonna be looking for a Rex blueprint. And a Rex saddle blueprint. <laughs> Not a blueprint of a literal Rex. For those who don't play Ark and have never tried to grind for these, I pick the ladder. I fall under the ladder category. Rex blueprints are insanely difficult to find. They are very, very rare, very far and few, and there's also no dev kit available for Ragnarok. And what that means is that if you go on the wiki, there's no specific loot table for what these certain caves on Ragnarok will drop. If you look at Scorched Earth, there's a full list of everything. If you look on the island, there's a full list of the jungle cave will give you these. Swamp cave will give you these. The, you know, beacons will give you these. Deep sea loot crates will give you these. On Ragnarok, you kind of just have to take a guess and hope that the stuff from the island bled over onto here, which is most likely. And then go on the wiki and go on Reddit, you know, forums and stuff like that and see if other people can kind of chime in. A couple of people have said that they found blueprints from this cave. Most notably, the biggest and best cave to get them from is apparently the ice cave. But I don't know if that means that the odds of the, getting them are any better. I think the ice cave is just easier to run as a group than this cave is. Because the ice cave doesn't have any permanent death where this one does if we fall under the water. But thankfully, to avoid the permanent death situation, we have 15 parachutes and 28 grappling hooks. So if I manage to die right now by falling into the lava, kind of... Hi, this is Post Brandon, editing previous Brandon. Would you believe that my OBS stopped recording abruptly again? I don't know why it keeps doing this. I don't think that you missed anything. I just kind of went through the cave and said that I was going to wrap it around a bunch. So here's a cut into me doing my second run through the cave, I believe. This is literally the second run. 15 minutes after my first one. There were two loot crates here. Ascendant Dire Bear Saddle. And Journeyman Rex Saddle Blueprint. For 31 armor. This is a Journeyman Blueprint. Asking 330 metal ingots. And it gives you seven better armor than standard. Standard is 25. This gives you 32. I don't even want it. I literally don't even want it. I do. I, I, I don't. You, they're so rare. They're supposedly so rare. And my apprentice one that I'm pretty confident I got out of a beacon. A purple beacon. Has better armor than that. Uh, I know it's just one bad roll. I know I'm, I'm making a big deal out of it. But like, come on, man. Uh, that's it. That, that right there is going to be the only one. That's the only rotation we're going to get. That's the only one out of the loot tables that we're going to get. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I'm, I'm so annoyed. <sighs> now I've been doing my rounds on this cave and this is the last little bit right here. This is the exit. Now I want you guys to follow along with me on something. I just got done ransacking the cave. There were three beacons, and then this one, so four in total. I want you to watch me do this, okay? Let me just check, make sure. Oh, there's another one up here. Well, to prove a point, I might as well grab all of them. It's only a green, it's likely not to have anything. You just gotta grab it to make the others respawn. Yeah, that's a real great primitive. Yeah, good saddle, well done. Golf cop. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I think I could actually avoid a little bit of damage going over here and then dropping down this way. Like, I even care about damage, though. That probably didn't change much. Anyway. Just got done going throughout the cave. By the way, there's a beacon right up there as well, too. Up on that web. I didn't know that, but apparently there is, so it's kind of cool. You can always check by doing this. 
This is the aerial view of it. It's usually right next to the crystal. I just have the uh, alt up there. Where you press alt, how it shows your character from like a top word view. Yeah, it's a little old. Anyway. So, I just got done looting over the whole cave. Yeah, believe me on that. I'm going to jump out. Okay. And do my usual round. Go around, grab like a little bite of food. Go inside, put away whatever it is that I grab, which wasn't much. You know, might as well just clear up a little bit of inventory space so I can continue running faster. Whatever. Got an egg in my inventory. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go immediately back in. And there's going to be more crates. I don't know what it is. But the crates are instantly respawning the second that I leave the cave. Let's check. I want an explanation. And before you go off and say, well, Brandon, just last episode, you turned up your resource value or resource respawn to the lowest possible setting and the player radius to the lowest possible setting. No, because I realized that that might be doing it. So I changed it back half an hour ago and it's still doing it. We are back to default. Okay. That was the only one that respawned. But we'll see. I mean, that already proved the point right there. I mean, technically not, because I didn't grab that one immediately after you guys didn't see me do it. I think there's one over there, but let's take a look. If there's any crates here... Yep, I had already grabbed that one. That one respawns every single time you return. And that's, that's just the guarantee one. There's a lot more that could, you know? Because that's just how it works. None down there. I think that might be the only one here sometimes it's only this one unless there's one in the back nope there's that one back there too and i just grabbed wait no i didn't sorry that was the one i just grabbed that one i didn't is there another one up top or is that the glow from the bottom no it's just the glow from the bottom the d oh this is the first time the onyx have respawned too i haven't fought a single onyx because all the ones have been respawning over there interesting okay so Onyx are finally respawning. That's kind of cool. I mean, finally we get a little bit of, uh, ooh, train on saddle, not bad. Finally we get a little bit of challenge here, I guess. That's nice to see. So with default values in everything, it's instantly respawning. So with this loot, I'm under the impression that all I have to do is just continually come back here and I can just get however many chances of getting a rex saddle i possibly want to especially because that's a red beacon too which i believe has more option or more uh, possibilities for other things but still i don't know man it's kind of let's see how many shots it takes to kill an onic one two oh great i love getting it on the first literal hit that's wonderful <laughs> might as well have some healing pots while i'm here haven't died yet by the way the, uh, I fell off twice. I wish I would have caught it on camera because I was terrified. But I fell off twice and managed to catch myself with a grappling hook both times. The nice thing about a grappling hook is that the hook is pretty much instant, like the way it projects. So, if we fall, I just have to cling on to the nearest thing. And I'm likely to not hit the lava, which is really, really nice. Also, the... Okay, just wanted to make sure that that is taking effect. Nice hatchet. So... I mean, I can show you guys again. I think I'm going to. Okay, we got another little guy down right there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and peace out of here. I take a little bit of damage. That's fine. But thankfully, the rabies shouldn't kill me. And I, the way I get out of here is just doing this every time. Easy little route. And just press C, and there you go. I'm on my way. Simple as that. And there might be another one. I see the yellow glow. Is there one right there? I didn't grab that one last time, but that's another that can respawn. I didn't know this one was here either, but... Let's see. Okay. Nothing good. So, that's this cave. Infinite loot, essentially. It's kind of stupid. But I know it's not anything to do with me. And it's clearly a game mechanic. Because I have all the resource values on one. Everything back to the way it was normally. Which I think I'm going to keep, by the way. I'm not going to keep him on uh, infinite respawn. Nah. So, just to prove a point again here. We already got all this. 
it seems to be whenever I leave the cave, like physically leave it, the little lag spike that happens when you actually or you know, the game recognizes that you've left the cave right here. This part, I'm pretty sure. In fact, I'm going to turn immediately around, uh, gain a little bit of stamina back. Let's go in right now again. And let's see. I would laugh if there's just one right here. Let's find out. Is there one just right here? Ah, uh, no. Okay, so that one didn't respawn. Maybe, uh, imagine the radius was my house right there. And just exiting the cave isn't going to cause them to respawn. Never mind. Yep. There it is. We got a blue one up here. It's only a blue, so. Oh, you know what I just realized? Actually, hold on. I don't have to take damage doing this. Because I can just jump off. Wait, hold on. Oh, I can just rappel down. That's really cool. That's really cool. I didn't know that. Okay. Well, not that I didn't know. Just, I guess I never thought about using it like that. But the main point. Let's go take a look and see if the beacon up top is there. I guess we can climb up at this height. That's fine. Okay. No respawn on that one. And, yep. Every time. So. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't remember it being this quick. But then again, I don't remember having these quick of speed runs. And I think back then I deliberately waited like an hour to half an hour. Just because I figured that it couldn't be instant. And I needed to wait. Because the thing is, it, it's not respawning all of them. But then again, even coming here, it didn't give me all of them. So I feel. Actually, these are the same too. Huh. I think that's just luck, but that's really strange. All right, well, you guys know the game plan, I guess. Oh, hello. 434 versus 410. How are you going to go and do that to me, huh? How are you going to go and do that to me? I don't like what you require. That's 750... Oh, well, I guess we're not counting Silica Pearls anymore, so... Huh. 434. Anything for me to be able to break 2k. So, better helmet? Cheers. So I have to be relatively quiet because there are other people in the house sleeping right now. But I just woke up. I just got back. Well, I was back here AFK my dinos because I figure, well, I haven't really been spending this time on the server AFKing them doing the cave, which is a sacrifice I understand that I'm taking right now, which I think I'm okay with. I came back, you know, for the seven or so hours that I slept to AFK them. So I think that did well. But uh, I went through the cave for a good while. Let's just say that the blueprint I got for the Rex saddle off the start was the only one I've gotten so far. And that's a huge disappointment. It's kind of to be expected though, but to put it into perspective, I have gone through 130 crossbow bolts and we have 106 now. These things, crossbows are necessary and there's a couple of spots in the cave that have drops that I've just been getting all the time because who knows, I might find a really good blueprint out of a blue drop for all I know. Some of those blue ones have given Mastercraft saddles. So, hey, could be a Rex one for all we know. So I'm going back in with what I like. A lot of food this time. Um, health packs are always good. I don't have any more of the uh, the healing, whatever the one is in the bottle. Glass, whatever that may be. I just brought some standard ones because I don't need them too often. I guess it's a lie. I used up all the other ones. I, I might have just been using them because I had them. I'll probably be a bit more conservative now. But there's not a lot of onyx, so it's not too much of an issue. The parachutes are nice when leaving. I don't want to take any fall damage, so it's good to use maybe every other time. I still don't really have enough for that, honestly. But this has been a long journey trying to get this. And I think that this is probably going to be my last run, getting the 106 right here. Because after this, I need to put focus into preparing for the cave. Because even though we're like, yeah, you know, get the saddle for the boss fight, we still can't access the boss fight. And we need to do him in two days at the time of recording this. So... We need to prioritize uh, making sure that we can actually get in with all four of the artifacts. 
and go over to the um yeah see like this one right here it's only a blue but i use a grappling hook to get up here just to check see like that you know that's not great by all means but it is blue so that for all i know could have been Wait, what? Were those two stacked on top of each other? Okay, anyway, I'll see you later. So guys, I don't... Oh man, oh man. Take a look at my inventory. How many hooks do I have? None. I just went through a hundred and however many grappling hooks that I had, and I used them pretty sparingly. I think I just went through this cave about 40 times at minimum. Maybe 50 or 60 just now. Pretty much full runs of getting three or four loot. Loot drops every single time. And no wreck settle. This proves my point of what I was saying where I looked on Reddit and I looked on forums. People saying that they've ran hundreds of runs with their crew, with their squad and their tribe and only getting like one or two Ascendant Saddles. Well, we hardly got any. In fact, I wanted to keep this with me because the last run that we just had right now, the last one that we got was two Ascendant Saddle Blueprints, but for a Megaloceros and a Therizido Solera. So, the only time that we got a Rex Saddle, Blueprint or not, was the one time- the second time. The second time we came in, and I tossed it away out of disgust. So, that's something that we just can't really admit. Now, we didn't lose entirely, because we did get a few- th I'm done, by the way. Like I said, I'm- I'm completely done. We did get a couple of really cool things. First off being, uh, we got this, an Ascendant Electric Prod. Which, this thing is used for taming, by the way. It is insanely good. And it's the best possible thing you could get. I don't know if you can get a higher weapon percent damage. Honestly. Like, Ascendant, this is pretty damn good. So, if we wanted to tame anything else, you just go over and shock this guy. And I thought how it worked was you need to, um... You need to recraft it every single time. Because these things take a load to make. In fact, let me show you. If you look up Prod, level 95, you need all this to be able to make a single one and you can imagine what an ascendant would require but apparently all you need to do if it breaks or you use it once because it's only got a one durability it's just refuse it with angler gel so we have some angler gel which is pretty cool apart from that we might have a use for that ascendant prod because even though i believe this is episode 27 so we have two more days of prep before the boss we got episode 28 and 29 one episode is going to be doing the the labyrinth it's a word i don't say very often so i kind of forget to my vocabulary sometimes one episode will be the labyrinth ideally not two because the one episode will be however long it takes us to complete it so we have one free episode of something that needs to get done well in hindsight what do we need to do we just need to craft up all those wreck saddles off of the apprentice one that we have it's like 41 which sucks but you know it's kind of what we gotta do Level the guys up, but that's not really episode worthy. I guess we can make it like a prep episode, but those are boring as shit. We're trying to make this episode or this series action pack, right? We only have prep episode. This whole, all the, if I was to do a prep episode for the boss, that's me spitting in my face of the series because all these 29 episodes have been prep episodes if you think about it. So I don't want to, I don't want to be like, hey, it's episode 29. Well, what are we doing in this last episode here? Um, here's a two minute montage of my favorite moments. And now we're just going to sit for 20 minutes trying to debate whether I put the levels into health or melee. It's like, you don't want to do that. So take a look over here. These are the really good items that I got. Um... These are the boots that we were running before. Highest level blueprint quality boots that we possibly have. 342. And we managed to get better flak boots. Durability wise as well. 342 armor. 359 armor. Three, or 438 durability. 446 durability. 
and much cheaper as well. So that's a blueprint. These are our new boots. How wonderful. We also got some fur and other shit I just won't need. We have a pike, finally. Like a good quality pike blueprint, so that's nice. Just a good little thing to have. And we also, if you take a look here, a Senate Ryan chest piece. 426. Ascendant flak chest piece. 428. <laughs> and the durability is, uh, it's worse, but... Welcome to the better chest plate. So that's hilarious. I love that. And uh, we also got an Ascendant Argentavis saddle blueprint, which we won't be making because that's a lot of material. 3,600 chitin and keratin. No, thank you. Just some cool things. But the more important thing out of all of this that we managed to get is something over here. If you take a look, um, let me see which one it is. Diplo, Trinidon, right here. Ascendant Deodon Saddle Blueprints. 92 armor. We'll round up. We're going to be taming this guy to bring in in place of our Rexes. Something you guys have recommended to me a little bit. So, you guys know how with our Rexes, the game plan is we have 19 T-Rexes because they are the best heavy hitters to bring in. They'll kill the thing for us. We have one... Um, what was the guy? The the Utanerus or whatever? The uterus, that dude? We have one of him to make the 20th dino because he gives a passive damage and resistance buff to all of our dinos. However, a Deodon gives passive healing. So on the opposite of that, basically, you bring a Deodon in, you fill the Deodon with food. It could be something as simple as prime meat cook prime meat or even a vegetable cake and as your dinos are in the middle of fighting somebody you have the deodon i believe eat the cake or eat the food that's in its inventory and it'll passively aoe heal dinosaurs surrounding you so that could be something that honestly i would rather play around with a bit of healing than bring one extra rex in because i think that having 18 or 19 rexes won't make a difference one or the either one or the other. One or the other. I've never said that before. So we're going to go try taming one of those guys. And it's only fitting because we have this insanely good piece of armor. Because we're not going to have too many... We're not going to have a long time to be able to level the guy up and get any initial levels. Unless we have him somehow kill an alpha. Which will not really be likely. So we'll craft this guy and get him tamed up. I think that's going to be either next episode or the episode right before the end. So that's it. That's our game plan. We have to just settle and be happy with the saddles that we have back at home. Because that's just kind of how it goes. I don't believe that I got another uh, Uterinus saddle. No, I did not. I have one at home though. It's a Senate, so it's really, really nice. But yeah, that's it. There's a lot of bullshit in here that I thought was pretty. So I brought it home. You guys can see some of the loot that we got. One of the biggest ones being a Plesiosaur saddle. Ascendant 105. Hot damn. We also got these here. I mean, we got a few things, you know, but none of it really matters. We're not If we're not going to be using this either in the caves or in the boss, then it's not worth it. It's not worth it to bring. So, that's it for looting. Unless, you know, while I'm AFKing, I happen to find a uh, beacon, then great. And also remember, we could wind up finding a Rex saddle in the uh, labyrinth that we're going to. That would be a last-ditch effort, but it's possible. It is always possible. So, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all very much. Take care. And, hey, if you guys have any comments on things that you want me to do, now is the time. I am reading these things religiously. So, let me know what I need to do. What your tips are. Because we're almost at extinction, baby. But we got this place to go to first. See ya!